What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Today, it's raining outside again. So me and my wife thought it would be more than appropriate to bring you a video on how to make shrimp salad. Now the kicker is with shrimp salad, before we even get this video started, is it's very hard to dial in the exact ingredients due to the size of the shrimp, due to the count of the shrimp, and you want to be sure that it's not runny. When you put your shrimp in, make sure after you wipe them all down, you peel the tails off. Like uh, what we have, we have a ring, so it makes it 10 times easier. It makes the recipe quick, simple, five to seven minutes of prep time. It doesn't get any better than that. Pat these things down, be sure it's dry before it goes into the bowl. The thing about shrimp salad is it's versatile. You can do a sandwich, rolls, anything, wraps, you name it, you can do it. Simple and easy. That's what we're about on this channel. Don't forget if you like this video, smash that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe down below. And also hit that bell icon because you don't want to miss all the latest and greatest of my videos. So with that being said, guys, if you all are ready to get cooking, as always, I'm that dude to do it for you. Let's get it. Getting this video started, what you're going to need is a cocktail shrimp ring. It makes it easy. It has about 32 shrimp in it. Dill weed, Old Bay, a lemon, mayonnaise, and one stick of celery. So we're going to start off with the shrimp ring. We're going to go ahead and wash them thoroughly. Make sure they are padded dry, as dry as you can possibly get them. Then it's just a simple step. You're just going to take them. You're going to peel the tail off and then you're just gonna cut them right in half. And just like that, you have the shrimp all done. She's all cut. And then you're going to go ahead, you're going to grab your celery stick. And what you're going to do here is you're going to split it down the middle. And then after you split this down the middle, you're going to come back and you're going to split it again down the middle. And what you're using here, I'm going to use about three quarters of the celery. Like I said, I'm not trying to overpower the shrimp salad. If you feel that you need more celery, you can go ahead and add it but do less and then add more. And now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna grab our lemon. I'm gonna cut it into four wedges, but we're only gonna need one wedge. We're not gonna need all of them. Go ahead and grab your mayo, and I'm gonna do a half a cup. A lot of recipes call for a lot of different things. Start with a half a cup, and if it's not to your liking, you can add more. Then what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna grab the Old Bay and the dill weed seasoning, and I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna sprinkle the top, and then I'm gonna mix all these ingredients into my small bowl. Use one lemon wedge and go ahead and give it a nice little spritz all up in that bowl. Now that you have all your seasoning mix mixed up in your small bowl, go ahead and dump it right into your shrimp, mix it all together. This is where you can try it to see if you need to add something. I end up adding just a little more Old Bay to the top. Well 
guys, you know what time it is. It's taste test time, and we're getting ready to try this shrimp salad out. Like I said, when you do the ingredients, you have to modify these ingredients. Some recipes call for two cups of may uh, mayonnaise. Some recipe calls for more than enough of Old Bay seasoning. It's up to you. So when you saw me seasoning that little bowl, half a cup, I went with a half a cup of mayonnaise. There's 32 pieces of shrimp roughly. You have to really be careful because you don't want it to be too liquidy. But you want to make sure the density is perfect because when you eat it or you serve it to your friends, it's a quick, easy lunch, uh, five to seven minutes of prep time, and then it's done. And then it's an easy meal. That's why we keep it on this channel. Easier the better, right? So we're going to go ahead and try this thing out. Now I'm going to tell you if it's good or not. I'm going to give you a real opinion. Not bad. Not bad, this would go good. Definitely if you have your nice big old glass of sweet tea, a nice beverage. This is really good though, put your chips on the side. It's not bad. All in all, simple, easy recipe. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell icon for all the greatest and latest videos. With that being said, I will see you fine, ladies and gentlemen, at the next video. See you guys.